new IoT device. But here's the real headache. How do you pick the right wireless protocol without blowing your budget or killing your battery life? Let's break down the options in plain English. Wi-Fi gives you fast data and easy setup for anything plugged in or near power, but it's power hungry. Bluetooth LE is the king of wearables and smart tags. Super low power, but short range. Zigbee and Thread are your go-tos for house-wide mesh networks. Think smart bulbs and sensors talking to each other. Z-Wave is similar, but mostly for home automation, and it needs certified chips. LoRaWAN takes you citywide with ultra-low power, perfect for tracking sensors or meters, but it's slow and not for streaming. NB-IoT and LTEM piggyback on cellular networks for carrier-grade, low-power, wide-area coverage, great for remote sensors, but you'll need SIMs and carrier deals. Full cellular, like LTE or 5G, is for high data and mobility. Think dash cams or fleet trackers, but expect higher power and cost. NFC and UWB are for ultra-precise, short-range stuff, like contactless payments or location tags. Sub-gigahertz proprietary protocols are your best bet for simple, ultra-low power point-to-point -point links, like remote controls or basic sensors. So how do you decide? If you need long range and don't care about speed, LoRaWAN or NB-IoT win. For high data, go Wi-Fi or cellular. Mesh networks for dense local devices, Zigbee or Thread. If power is your top concern, Bluetooth LE or sub gigahertz shine. Consider topology, mesh, point to point or star, plus your power budget, data needs, and how much you want to spend on certification or carrier plans. Bottom line, match your protocol to your use case range, power, data, and network shape. There's no one size fits all, but now you know how to choose smart.